and the only witness. For the last time, was- it's Gatto. Mr. Godot? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, uh, I've got my own witness I'd like to call, sir. It's the old man who was there in the restaurant on the day of the murder. Victor Kudo? The pigeon eater? <laughs> <laughs> I find it funny that's how he's referring to him. Yeah. Not as, like, anything else. Just someone who hates pigeons. Very well. The matter of the disappearing medication seems more than trivially alone. However, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't explored, not exploded. <laughs> it didn't explode with the. Uh, that was what actually exploded. It was the medication! <laughs> Wait, so that's what caused him to explode. <laughs> it wasn't the fact that he won the lottery. It was his medication. Oh, wait, that means that his ear exploded. That's what caused his... No, that's I don't like that explanation. Explode. Let's just go with he exploded. Yeah. Okay. Yay, good job, Nick. The car will now adjourn for a 10 minute recess. After which, we'll hear the prosecution's next witness. Huh. I suppose this means I'll just have to finish you off in my last six cups. Does that mean he's already had 11? What? If he only has 17 cups per trial. No, per trial. Okay, go ahead. And he's down to six. That means he's already had 11 cups. Oh my goodness. How is he not dead? Phew. Uh, That was close. Okay. Yes. I nearly died in there. That's my line, sir. No, it's my line. I think I really did die a little bit. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That happens to me every day. I've come to talk with you again. Oh my god. Uh... Looks like we all nearly died in there. No, I told you I did die. I can't believe Detective Gumshoe. How could he betray us like that? Huh? He said he'd help me, but he totally set me up. Maggie, I don't think he meant to do that. He was back into a corner. I mean, the guy's got to do his job, right? Oh, I mean, the... Sure. I'll just read that line at Maya. I, I mean, the guy has to do his job. Just pretend that Maya said that and not Maggie. That would be weird. You, you could have... You, I find it funny that you could have just not said the, the... Pretend Maya said it and you could have just cut it out. Maggie saying it out and just pretend like it never happened. No, I don't care. <laughs> I yeah, don't... It's funnier that way. Huh? It's funnier when you... It, doing it like this. Sometimes it's fun to point out your mistakes. Yes. Before your own brain does. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give your brain a chance to think. It's okay. Oh my I know all about lies and betrayal. I have had them my whole life. No! It's... It's... Not, you're not being betrayed. Betrayed would be if your aunt tried to frame you for murder. Uh, 
and other things happen like that. And then Maggie's like, oh. and then, no, this conversation continued, and Maggie's like, and that's an oddly specific example. <laughs> that is an oddly specific example. Uh, yeah. There's yeah. a reason for that. But, but, it really hurt this time. It felt like someone punched me hard in the stomach. You, you get used to it. I hate that guy. I don't ever want to see him again. Oh. Oh, poor Gunshell. So the next witness is going to be that old guy from the park, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kudo. You like seeds. <laughs> and waitress outfits. And he hates <laughs> pigeons. <laughs> I bet he's pigeons. gonna be really stubborn. I mean, he's pretty set in his ways, you know? Yeah, he's a big old grouch. Uh, are you going to be able to handle him, Nick? Yeah, I can take whatever he throws at me. Even those never-ending bird seeds. Reconvene for trial of Maggie Bird. Mr. Godot, your next witness. The prosecution calls the lucky old timer who caught the show over a cup of coffee. Will the witness please take the stand? <clears throat> Name an occupation, if you don't mind. The name is Zach the Hodo, born and raised in the land of the rising sun. Wait. Get in, honored in our foot aching, and I can be quiet at emotional times, too. Sure. You don't need to hear about uh, that, Mr. Kudo. Just tell the court your occupation. My occupation? <laughs> Listen, young man. You yeah, how much? How much? Call do? What? Sure. Yeah, so kind of. Kimono embroidery. That's what I do or did back in Japan. I. Embroidered family crest on kimonos. Okay, so he did embroidery. My ancestors, my ancestors were embroidering kimonos before the country even existed. Oh my goodness. Oh well, a real craftsman. Very dying breed. Hey, maybe he can embroider my costume sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway, like I said, there's not much demand for that kind of thing here. So I had to take a job working the cash register at a burger joint pretending this smile. Oh, uh, wait, you work at a what? Burger joint. I want burgers. Uh, no. You can't say no. Mia told me you can't. Oh, I thought he. Uh, okay. You can have a burger, Maria. That burger joint would have been better off putting him in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
now then, we are, you, where are you a witness in the restaurant at the time? Yes, I was eating some seeds. He eats the seeds too. Oh. The bird seeds that like he feeds to the kid? The kids. <laughs> the kitchen. I was actually oh, about kids. to say kitchen, not kids. <laughs> I don't know where kitchen came from, but I was about to say the seeds he uh, feeds to the kitchen. No, pigeons. Not kitchen. <laughs> what do you think these are? Mm -hmm. I say. So, you saw everything that happened, Grimms? Did I? Oh, yes, I did. I saw it. Oh. Then please tell the court we're all ears. Sure, sure. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. He's really getting into this. The young man was reading the sports. Okay, why did I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the ER and expected him to say whippersnapper? <laughs> no, no, that's Because I saw the me. end of the word paper, the, um, without the P. No, that's old bad thing. Yeah. Apparently. But I saw the head him for some reason words. That's not Maggie, but it looks familiar, though. But who? Hmm? But who? I know who it looks like. Hmm. I mean, I did play this before, but it is someone we saw already. They wouldn't be in the court record, but... Oh, okay. Some mysterious the person... Seven, uh... What? Brought him a coffee. But she put something in it. Remember when we were going to see Maya, that random person just came out of nowhere and then disappeared? Yeah. yeah. No. The man took one sip of it. Looked like he was in terrible pain. <laughs> <laughs> they fit a plane into that restaurant? <laughs> or a terrible plane as in, like, plane of existence or plane, like, I don't know. And then <laughs> collapsed. That's the server of, uh, there in the defendant's chair. I remember her well. So let's press on that because. Mr. Crow, she. Not a servant girl. Let's refer to her as waitress. Oh, you're just as bad as the rest of them. Okay, then. All these new angled weird. What's wrong with the old fa People get offended, that's why. New <laughs> All this talk of radios and glasses. It's wireless and spectacles. I talk no. <laughs> Even the judge is like, uh, no, you're very old. Well, I think it's time to begin the cross-examination, right, Mr. Wright? He 
Yes, Your Honor, I'm going. Don't worry, I'll try not to press him as much as I can. Please. You said I remember her well in reference to the waitress. Did she have any particular features that you can identify, uh, bleh, identify her by? Particular features? Yeah. Sorry. No. No. So the particular feature you recognize about the waitress is her outfit? But anyone could wear such a uniform, even me! No! You know what this means, back to Photoshop! <laughs> I was just gonna say, Phoenix, you just bought yourself some Photoshop. <laughs> you, start, you, you, you did it. You asked for it. You, you asked for it, Phoenix. <laughs> you asked for this, Phoenix. Editor. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please spare the court any further mental anguish from that image. <laughs> Sorry, Judge, but that image is going to become reality. Don't get all excited, Nick. You gotta keep yourself together. Also, please excuse me while I go to Photoshop right now. Like why? Uh, I guess I got a bit carried away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, other things I did recognize too. Sure. He seems pretty sure of himself. What should I do? Sure. You saw a waitress take the coffee over to the victim. But w what matters is whether or not that waitress was Maggie Bird or not. Quite right. Mr. Co 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 uh, I... All it does. I thought you were done. Sure. <coughs> That's the only thing he noticed. I don't know if so. Yeah, it's too soon. Um, we'll just press. You do seem to remember several details about her appearance, but what about the most crucial detail of all? Her face. Uh, why? The witness noticed the straps on the accused apron. It's un he's unlikely to make a mistake about her face. I can't even tell you the color of the ribbon in her hair it was red. So you see, there's nothing wrong. Wait, is she still in her uniform? I have no idea. I think she might be. Oh no. So, there's no doubt he remembers the waitress pretty well. What should I do? I get the feeling there's something more to this. So, how? Some. Yeah. Isn't there always? Ask about her back or the straps. Her back. The identifying features you described are all things that you would see from the back. 
Okay, I wasn't sure if he would go with that. Phoenix is dumb sometimes and goes with something completely different than what you wanted him to go with. Okay. It? You're calling him an it? What? When did it's I say it? Huh? So Phoenix is dumb sometimes and sometimes it. Mm. You said it. I think. No. I... I don't remember what I said. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that. I might have said... If I say something like that that I don't think is going to matter in a few seconds, I usually just forget immediately. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So... Is it possible that you never saw the waitress from the front door? Hello. He's got you there, Gramps. People normally talk about the facial features when they're asked to describe someone. But this witness's testimony is nothing but straps and ribbons. Says the person who in his first trial alone uh, said that the witness was lying because they didn't talk about the witness or the accused clothes. So which is it, Phoenix? Should people talk about the clothes or the face? Because you seem to not accept either one. Or is it only Maya's clothes? Is that it, Phoenix? I, I don't understand. Is logic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is harassment. I'm just telling you what I saw. Okay, from the front, this old man's testimony is getting longer and longer. If I can't find a hole in the tune, it'll get even longer, I bet. Also, I'm going to count my interest about her when I saw her from the front. <coughs> Mr. Kudo, I would like you to please take a look at this. seen this before? Oh, we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching, Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Pharaoh.